So I have some big stuff I want to talk about and I keep trying to record it and make it sound um, <laughs> interesting, but it's already interesting. So I'm just going to tell you what I have discovered. The Matrix is more real than we know. This is kind of like a Truman Show situation. There are other beings that live on planet Earth that can see where all of us in this Matrix experiment area are being kept. Those are the advanced humans called the Tartarians who were basically the Atlanteans. Of course Gaia is a living being but I have now come to understand that at her core she is a crystal, a living sentient crystal. And her energy field is a toroidal field so it's with the two swirling energies meeting in the middle so basically there's like a hollow center and then there are layers in the earth where uh, different beings live at different densities the skies that we see the color of the sky the stars the moon everything is a hologram yes the stars are accurate but um we are not even seeing the real sun so the real sun is much brighter and also doesn't burn the skin. All of this information resonates as true with my higher self. I felt compelled to pass on this information because sometime in the next nine months is when the whole grid system of the matrix is going to collapse and we're going to actually see the real sky the way that it is. So we're going to be seeing big planets in the sky, you know, Mars and Venus and the ones that are closest to us. Um, because those have been blocked. We've been seeing a hologram of what they wanted us to see. And at that point is when we will have some ETs, but also the Tartarians, the advanced humans that will come into our area and help us restore um, our soil and help us heal our bodies with their advanced technology. If you want more information on this, I have a video in my link tree. Honey C. Golden is the name of the YouTube channel. Her name is Honey, and she is channeling this information from her, her higher self. So um, she has so many more videos that you can check out about all of this. So feel free. And then also, of course, you can do your own research outside of that. I know there is a book about some guy who did actually find the exit to the dome and went through it 